Hola amigos! I am currently right now in Mexico and I don't think I've ever ate so much guac and salsa in my life, but boy am I loving it. If you know something about me, tacos is my favorite food, so being in Mexico is perfect. This last month has been insane. I've literally, or is it figuratively, literally traveled around the whole world. We were in Africa just a bit ago, then from there we flew back to Finland, then we flew to Canada and spent some time with family in Toronto, and then from there we flew down here to Mexico, tomorrow we fly back to Canada, and as well then back to Finland. So literally we are flying around the world visiting all the continents, minus Australia and Asia, but yeah, you get the point. We're traveling around a lot. Also, if you haven't yet had a chance to check out the photo battle with my brother Matty that we shot last week in Toronto, make sure you check that out. I'll link that below at the end of the video. It was super fun time challenging ourselves to shoot with lenses that we really wouldn't usually shoot with, just to see how we'd shoot with them and what kind of photos we got. And well, let's just say that one of us probably won the battle. You get to decide. But today, since we are in Mexico, we are going to be talking about underwater photography and specifically how to shoot underwater photos without breaking your bank. I don't know about you guys, but at least for me, I always dreamed of living in some crazy tropical island like Hawaii. I guess it's always that mentality that the grass is greener on the other side and when you're living in Canada and Finland and it's snowing all the time, you just wish that you lived on an island. And I really idolize these surfer guys who live this really adventurous life and they're shooting epic photos and video footage and I always kind of dreamed that I could do that myself. But the truth is, I'm probably not going to ever live in Hawaii, but when I'm on holidays, I can pretend as if I'm this surfer living in Hawaii. So back to the topic of underwater photography. Typically when people are shooting photos or video underwater, they're using a thing called water housing, which is basically this container for your camera that allows you to be underwater and still use your DSLR. And they can range anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 or probably even more expensive. But that's a lot of money. And if you're not someone who's living constantly in some tropical location and you just want to shoot here and there, that's probably not the best option for you. If we're honest with ourselves, not all hobbyists pretend to be surfers can afford that. But what you can afford is the Polar Pro 50-50. With the Polar Pro 50-50, you can take sweet underwater photos and video footage with your very own GoPro. And with the latest GoPros, the quality is just getting higher and higher so it makes them more usable and you can get epic photos underwater. You see, the reason why you need one of these 50-50 domes is that usually when you're shooting with your GoPro, you can only film above the water or below the water, but it can't film both above and below at the same time. But with the 50-50 dome, it pushes the water away from the GoPro, allowing it to film above and below at the same time to get you those nice Instagram photos underwater. For example, check out below some of the photos I took with my wife. Alright guys, three tips on how to get the best underwater photography. Tip number one, make sure you shoot when the sun is shining bright. The thing is that when you're shooting underwater, the light is getting cut exponentially as it goes deeper. So the deeper you're shooting, the light is a lot darker, so you gotta make sure the bright light of the sun is shining so you can get some nice exposed shots underwater. Tip number two, this is from my friend Daniel. He said that in order to get really nice clear shots with the 50-50 dome, make sure you spit on it. Yes, that's right, I said spit on it. If you spit on it and you rub it along the dome, it's gonna make the water not bead on it as well. It's not gonna get fogged up because you put your spit on it. So yeah, it's a very weird tip, but spit on your 50-50 dome, rub it in, and that will make sure that it won't fog up and you won't get any beaded water ruining the shot. And tip number three is lock your GoPro screen. I learned this the hard way. When I was shooting with my wife underwater, every time I was about to press the button and take a shot, all of a sudden the water would touch the touch screen and change to video mode or time lapse mode, ruining the whole situation. But with the GoPro, you can actually lock the screen, making sure that the water is not going to move to the touch screen and touch it to make it to a different setting. So lock the screen and have it set for photos, and then you can just click away and get a whole bunch of photos. All right, that's three easy tips on how to get better underwater photography. I know that's just scratching the surface, but maybe as I get more experience in this, I'll give you guys more tips, but this is what I've learned so far on the journey. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I am gonna go eat some more salsa and guac.